What's going on everyone? I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer do that rear carpet. Wasn't the best of videos. I started it kind of late and I didn't know how I was going to be able to <laughs> show you guys that video in the back of the car. But, it, you know, what are you going to do, right? So I got my final piece in tonight to get this car rolling again. Not driving, not stopping, rolling. And that is, where is it? There it is. It's my front brakes. This, uh company doesn't need any introduction uh, I went ahead and and uh, purchased the strange heavy-duty four piston brakes um, I've talked to a lot of people like I said before who driven it on the street and they haven't had um, any problems we'll find out worst that happens is I sell the kit and I buy something else but I purchased this through Team Z. Um, you know, the least I can do, everything they've done for me, is at least give them the business, whether they make a little bit on it or not. It's the least I can do. So, this is the whole kit. Showed up today. Let's get this unpacked. Get this car rolling. Well, it won't be rolling tonight because I still haven't, I didn't get the correct hardware for the control arms. I just went and bought 916 bolts. Because 5 eighths looked freaking huge, and I get home and you know I decided to actually measure the hole, and it is 5 eighths. So I gotta go return the uh, hardware and get oh god, get uh, 5 eighths hardware tomorrow, and then it could be rolling again. All right, let's start opening this up. Assuming these are rotors. So pretty. They feel so much heavier together. I mean, it's like a skeletonized rotor. Pretty cool. Oh yeah. Kinda wish I got the polished ones. I didn't see, I don't know if that was an option or not, but. Nice. Four piston calipers. Uh, what's this, a 3AM on the back? Yep, 3AM, so I gotta get new brake lines. Uh, got bleeders top and bottom. It's got an arrow on there. I don't know if that should be facing up or down. I don't know. Oh, right hand. So, facing up. Right caliper. Um, we'll just this box there. It's obviously a left caliper. This got to be all my bearings, seals, hardware, caps. Which I'll be interested if these fit through the wheels. Oh, they'll fit through the wheels. I'm really interested if my center caps fit over these. Paid good money for them center caps. Um, I guess we'll find out, actually. No point to do that. What is this? Oh, studs? Oh, they're bolting. That's kind of nice. More hardware. Bearings. Hub. Very nice. Oh, that's nice. The race is already installed. Nice. Brake pads. Get your brake pads here. Yeah. I don't know who makes these brake pads, actually. There ain't much fucking meat on them, but calipers are tiny, so it doesn't surprise me. And bracketry. Strange. I love all the strange stuff. 
they, they do such a good job on just making it really nice. Except for the big scratch I just put in it. Give me the other one. There we go. Inboard sign. There's your whole kit. Rotors all the way down to bracketry. Uh, it's a lot of pieces, but, you know, it's not something that's too hard to figure out how to do it. I don't even think you need instructions for these. <laughs> what kind of bearings they use? Timpkin. Granted, if you remember from the last video, we find out these are made in China now. Alright, so I'm assembling these together, like everything I can do on the bench. Um, I just realized that I don't have the spindle nut kit for the Fox body to screw it all on, so I really can't finish that tonight. But what you, you can assemble a lot of the stuff here. Um, and one thing you got to do is you got to pack your bearings. This is old school. A lot of young people might not know about it. It's something these cars came with, you know, just regular old roller bearings. And um, they make bearing packers, but what I've always come to do is I, I, I put gloves on and I just take this and you know I get it uh, get it um, all lubed up on my hand right and I just simply make sure I got enough grease in the pile and I just I get it pushed into the bearing um, you'll know you can feel it it's messy Make sure you got gloves and some spare towels on. This is the nasty part. <laughs> I work on cars all day long. I still don't want to get grease all over me, especially this shit. Because it fuck, stinks. And I got it on me. Ugh. So you can put the back bearing in, into the hub. Make sure it's all greased up. And what you can do is you got to put your seal on. Um, now a little lube on it these might just be able to just be tapped right on need to go crazy with a yeah yeah those tapped right in with a good old rubber mallet funny now I put in the studs already and um, what I did was I just put a little Loctite right under the head five or six threads, just peace of mind. Brake pads are assembled into the calipers. You gotta use a uh, little brake caliper grease in there on the metal contact parts, just so you don't have metal on metal. Believe me, better. Because <laughs> I gotta assemble these onto the hub with, I don't know. I'm assuming with these. Maybe not. Maybe for these. Okay, those thread onto there. That's for the caliper. So this probably threads into the hub. I pulled off the bumper and the fender just so you guys get a clearer picture of this whole thing. So let's let's go over there. Those don't have any nuts on there. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're back. Uh, couple of days later here I needed a new charger for my camera because the other one ended up in 17 pieces and both my batteries were dead so I couldn't record anything also when you switch to Fox body brakes you need to have a spindle nut kit the spindle nut the little carriage a little worser jammy and the thing now you need two of them I ordered two. Amazon, for whatever the reason, sent it in two different packages, and one's not here. Amazon Prime, quality. Now, I wasn't buying this. All the Mustang sites like want like 10, 11, 12 dollars for this kit, which is, it's just absurd. It's like, it's like, uh, if you can find them, they're like three, four dollars. I think I paid four dollars each. Um, the Dorman part number 04 
$9.94. Uh, I think I paid $12 shipped for both of them from Amazon. And LMR wanted like $10 a piece or some ridiculousness like that. But I don't need to have the other side to finish this video. So I'm going to get the brakes finished on this one side. If you also remember, I needed longer bolts for the brackets. They didn't fit and I needed nuts. So I went and got inch and a quarter, these are the old ones, inch and a quarter, three eighths, grade eight bolts with uh, some lock, some nylon nuts. Um, by the way, those control arms are five eighths bolts, four and a half inches long, should work perfectly for you. I to finish putting those all in. Now, we got the back bearing in with the axle seal on. Um, we got to pack this thing full of grease front and back. I don't have a grease gun, which would make life like 18 times easier right now. But um, work with what you got. There's like a little channel in the hub. You want to fill it up with grease. This is not something you want to um, skimp out on. <laughs> you want these to stay well maintained and everything. Pretty well looped. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna go stick that on the spindle. You got your front bearing, your little boy. Remember, pack the bearing the same way. So now that you got your rear bearing in with your axle seal, you fill this thing up with grease. You got your front bearing in. You gotta assemble your spindle nut kit, and um, it, I mean, you got your washer with the little keyway thing on it, and you just push that in there. You get your nut. Go. Now you don't want to just lock this thing down and, and call it good, then you won't spin. So what I do is, there is a torque procedure. Oh, I hate this breaker bar. There is a torque procedure to this, if you want. I think it's, you lock it down like 17 foot pounds and back it off. Because you got to see like the bearings and the races. And hopefully, your thing stays on better than mine. This is severely pissing me off. So, I want to make sure your bearings are seated well. Spin it back off. Feel solid. Now, anybody who's done this before that you know, you can do it. <laughs> this thing is going to go in the garbage once I'm done with this job. I'm done playing this. And this is why craftsman tools suck. Oh, I probably just offended a whole lot of people there. <laughs> it's an opinion, guys. Don't worry about it. So, the torque, full torque rating is like 20 foot-pounds. guy I used to work with taught me how to do it this way. But, it's a pain in the ass. I don't think I have a torque wrench in style. Inch pounds, though, which is like 240 foot pounds. Inch pounds, I'm sorry. Probably a little too tight. That feels good. Maybe besides my control arm moving, but it feels solid. I always wondered how much a cotter pin would actually do for you if this nut were to back out. I don't, I honestly don't know, but it's amazing that a little piece of steel will stop that, supposedly. Anyway, that's done. You can put your cap on it, good to go. I've already bolted on my brake caliper bracket here, so we're going to get the rotor on, we're going to get the brake caliper on, we put this cap on, tighten, get a new bolt in there, get this all tightened up, and this side will be done, besides brake line. Clean the rotor off with some brake clean. Fresh towel, you can see how much garbage is on there. <laughs> And when I did, because there's some oil on here, there's arrows on this rotor. I don't know if you can make it out. There you go. How much way it's supposed to go? Answer my own question. Now, sometimes these calipers have to be shimmed onto the bracket. Nothing's perfect in the race car world, if we haven't noticed. So, so I snug the rotor on. 
You're gonna get the calipers snugged on. We'll tighten it down, and we're gonna see how much side to side in the caliper we have. But right now, it's actually looking pretty damn good. Maybe a shim, maybe. Yeah, so the caliper's a little far this way, so that's fine because we could shim it back. I'm gonna start with two shims and see where that takes us. That's close enough for me. <clears throat> I'd have to get a micrometer out to see the difference on that one. It's good enough. So, rotors on, calipers on, hubs all done. There's your brake install. All right, guys. Brake system's all set. Got everything for the brake system minus the brake lines. But Josh is super quick with those. Uh, I tell him what I need, the colors I need, and he has them to me within a couple of days. But once I get the brake lines back from him, I can check all the brake lines again. I think I have a leaking rear caliper from the uh, brass washer on it, which I just I probably just need to put a little extra oomph into it, and then the braking system will be done once again. I got some more stuff on the website. If you would ha head over to racestatusgarage.com and check it out, I'm adding st my wife's adding stuff um, more and more as the time goes on. Like I said, we're working on a ton of stuff. That would be great. I'd greatly appreciate it. Now get out in the garage, grab a cold one. Tonight I got a juice box thing. Tropicana Kids. Fruit punch, good stuff. Get out in the garage. Grab some wrenches, grab a cold beer, and get something done on your hot rod, guys. Have a good night.